What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC, and welcome back to another Pokemon Black and White Wi Fi battle. Uh, this was from the KOTC PMP New Jersey tournament that we had last month, and against a fellow YouTuber, Crispy Melon44. Guys, definitely go check him out. He put up quite a battle for me. He's a real young guy, but uh, nonetheless, he knows how to play. Uh, as you can see here, he's got, I've got, of course, my same rain team i really need to make a new team but he's got a sand team gonna have to worry about that excadrill the fair thorn definitely could be problems for a rain team latios gliscor man he's got all the heavy hitters rotom wash so i'm gonna have to be real careful in this one but uh yeah let's see how it goes i'm not really sure what he was planning to lead with and uh he does end up going with his latios which is kind of interesting i mean you don't really see it too much as a lead so i'm not really sure what he was predicting there this was his standard lead i'm gonna get the hell out because i really can't take any of his moves i am faster and i'm pretty sure i would be um going ahead for that full switch since i'm scarfed and yep he goes for that pretty standard draco meteor um ferrothorn does take it very well but this is telling me seeing how much that did i do have special defense evs he is definitely choice specs so right here not really worrying he can hit me again after the uh special attack trap or switch and i can freely put up my stealth rock so great now here, I'm a little worried that he might have that fire type move, so I'm going to switch out. But he also ends up predicting that, so great plan his part. He can go back into his Latios, and I go into my Politoed. Now this is a uh, fully defensive uh, Politoed. I'm going to go ahead for the Protect, and just sort of scout out what he's doing since I know he specs. He's going to go ahead for that Draco again, and... Eh. I'm going to have to just go back into my Ferrothorn, and the Ferrothorn, he really already did everything he needs to do. The main purpose is just to put up that Stealth Rock. So I'm going to switch in as he goes for that Draco, and I might be able to take one more. Um, eh, I probably can after that leftover, so not too worried about it, and he knows that, so he's going to switch out and get right into his Excadrill. Now, I go ahead and set up my Leech Seed. Might not have been the smartest play, but I figured if he stayed in and went for that second Draco, I'd be able to recover a little bit of health. Either way, eh, it's not so bad. Able to get up some nice health. I can switch in again on another Draco later. Go to my Rotom, and uh, he goes for the x -Scissor. So, I was kind of hoping that he'd go for maybe the uh, Earthquake, but he's a little too smart for that. So, get some of that Leech Seed, and... Uh, he will outspeed me, but he won't be able to take me out. So he's going to switch out now to his Ferrothorn as I go for the Hydro Pump and miss. Ugh, slap in the face. Doesn't really matter. Wouldn't have done that much. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to go into my Toxicroak. Now, I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I know he can still wall my to Toxicroak if I try and set up, but in the scene there, especially that he has spikes, it it's pretty nice because I'm able to force him out. He doesn't have much of anything for entry hazards. But here comes the big derp moment of the match. Um, keep in mind this is a live battle and I'm also running the tournament as well as playing in it. So I'm having people come up to me, ask me questions about stuff and whatnot. And this right here, I completely did not notice that he had leftovers. All I saw was that freaking thunderbolt and oh, face palm. Did not see that burn coming whatsoever, and I realized, no, this is a freaking wall set Rotom, and yeah, there's nothing I can do at this point. Toxicroak is just done. So kind of hoping maybe he'd switch out, predicting me to switch or something like that, seeing that I can't really do anything to him. Um, I set up another sub, and it fails. So, what? I really can't do anything. I could switch out and save him from fodder, but... I really don't have anything that I want to switch and take the off chance that he willows again. I get another freaking status or that he gets a lucky uh, paralyze off of the T uh, Thunderbolt. So whatever. I'm just going to keep in Toxicroak until he kills me and just cry all the way home. So a little downward moment in my momentum of the match. But either way, I'm able to bring in my Latios, which is great. And right here, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power. Now, because this is a rain team, I do not carry Hidden Power Fire. I carry Hidden Power Fighting. And this is great because it catches a lot of people off guard. 
it still hits just about all the same things super effective damage and uh yeah the people they just don't notice it whatsoever so i'm able to catch a couple things off guard um of course i'm going to switch out there going to the pharaoh thorn expecting that draco meteor and at this point the pharaoh thorn thorn is just fodder i live with an epic 16 hp it puts him in a real awkward spot because he has to stay in at minus two to finish me he misses the draco very unfortunate luckily for him all i did was go for the leech seed so a gyro ball would have taken him out either way he does switch out, even though that next Draco might have killed me, but he gets the advantage of setting up his sand. So, eh, whatever. I'm going to go to my scissor here. And I think this is the first time I've shown my scissor in the match. Um, he does, I don't know if he paid attention to the fact that I've left over, but again, this is that sword dancing one with the U-turn. So if people don't catch that, they end up thinking usually it's choice. But I go for that U-turn, go into my Politoed, get that rain back up so that he's not able to just switch back into his Excadrill and sweep me. So pretty nice. Um, right here, I end up going for the Toxic. And it was actually was predicting the Rotom to probably come in thinking that I go for either the Ice Beam or the Scold. And yes, I'm able to catch it. So that would be very helpful in taking this guy out. I really didn't have too much for him um, other than maybe that Latios. So get up my Protect, get that poison damage to just rack up. Now go back into my Ferrothorn again, just as fodder. He does hit with the Hydro Pump, so he takes me out, but that's just fine because I have plenty of things now I can switch into to either stall him out and or just finish him off go back into my towel polytoed again i can set up another protect and hopefully this turn the poison damage will take him out and uh not quite i'm really scared of the fact that i just noticed now that he's pain split and it's just been a while since i faced one of these guys because you know you used to see it all the time in fourth gen either way not a big deal go into my rotom which has zero hp investment so he's not going to gain that much and now the poison doesn't quite take him out, but the Volt Switch will. So goodbye, the bane of my freaking existence. Freaking bulky ass Rotom. Now here's where I'm telling you with that hidden power. He's thinking that I fire. I might not quite take him out, but because it's fighting, it doesn't get uh, dampened by the rain. And I'm able to take him out. Now right here, I'm going to want to switch because I don't want to take him out with the sand set up and let him just freely go into the Excadrill. And he makes a great play in predicting that. And uh, it's just reading me like a freaking book. Thank God it didn't quite take out my Latios. So I'm able to get on my Politoed and still have the Latios able to come in. And since he doesn't have Stealth Rocks up yet, I will be able to use him for later in the match. He goes now into his Gliscor, probably hoping maybe he could live, but either way, it was pretty much just as a fodder spot. He wasn't going to be of that much use. And then now be able to go back into his Latios, try and take out this Politoed. Might have been good if he went into the T-Tar, but the T-Tar might have died from the Stealth Rock. So it's not looking too good for him as of yet. I go for the Protect just to scout again. I see he's going for the Draco. The Scizor can definitely take it. So no biggie. And uh, yeah, at this point, there's no reason that he'd switch. So go for the safe uh, Bullet Punch. Knock that punk ass right out. God, I love priority moves. So helpful. Now here he goes into his Excadrill knowing that the Bullet Punch won't do that much. And I actually end up going for the Fighting type move right there instead of trying to just, you know, maim him with the Bullet Punch. Just in the, you know, small event that he might have gone for a Sword Dance. I did not want him to have that up. Either way now, um, he takes me out, no biggie, and I'm able to go in with my Latios and boom take him out finally reveal for sure that that is the hidden power fighting and he's just like whoa i thought it was fire the whole time but whatever so anyway go into my rotom just as fodder i want to be able to have a free switch um into my polytoed just because i know that i can only take two hits and i have to get this rain set up so now it's going to take away his speed he will get that earthquake off and even if he got a crit since he didn't have the extra speed boost anymore the latios would have been able to come in and take him out but no biggie polytoed great job once again freaking love that poke so great game, Crispy Melon 44. Guys, definitely go check him out. 
great battler. He's a young kid, but he's he definitely can play with the big boys. So guys, check him out. Links in the description below. Um, I'm going to be uploading over the next couple weeks, or at least next couple uploads, um, all my matches from the KOTC Nation um, PMP tournament in New Jersey. Um, I'm going to treat this as round one, um, even though I'm not sure if it was, but all the matches that just weren't really upload upload worthy i didn't bother with i didn't want to make you choke through them but uh, i got a lot of really good ones to come still have that big news that i'll fill you guys all in on very soon and uh yeah it's good to be back from vacation so i uh, hope you enjoyed the battle comment like subscribe and peace out